What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And today, I'll be showing y'all how I make my homemade red velvet cake. That's right, red velvet cake. I'm gonna do it as quickly and as easy as I can. Y'all know a homemade cake is not quick and it's, and it's not easy. But I'm gonna do the best I can to show y'all how I do it. I know y'all, if you're already making your homemade cakes, you have your own way to do it, but I'm gonna just show you mine. Let's get into this video. All right, here are your ingredients. Well, my ingredients, you got your baking soda, you got your eggs, you got your margarine, you got your baking powder, you got your vanilla, you got your Philadelphia cream cheese, that's for your icing. I got my walnuts, I love walnuts on my red velvet cakes. I got my sugar, I got my Swan Downs cake flour. Don't make your red velvet cake without the Swan's Down flour. I'm just joking, use whatever you want to, but this right here, this right here, this right here is the best, okay? And I got my powdered sugar, got my red food color, and I got my Hershey's chocolate, cocoa, and I got my buttermilk. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 350. So I'm gonna do that first. It's gonna heat up to 350. All right, I'm gonna go ahead on and spray my cake pans, I already sprayed one cake pan. I'm gonna spray this one as well. You can use parchment paper and then spray the parchment paper. You can do it that way, but I'm gonna use this can of Baker's Joy. It's baking spray with flour and that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, it is finished being sprayed. Or you can go old school. You can be old school, put you some oil, a melted butter, Roll it around in there and then put some flour on it and shake it. That's that's the way I used to do it growing up. Yeah, but you know, times have changed. I have evolved to Baker's Joy. <laughs> times have changed. All right, I'm using two and a third cup. Two and a third cup of the Swan Downs cake flour. I'm going to use two and a half tablespoons of this Hershey's cocoa, the unsweetened cocoa. All right, here's the cocoa. Like I said, we're gonna do two and a half tablespoons. So that's one tablespoon. Two tablespoons, and we're gonna get a half of this. So we're gonna do a half. That's about half right there. All right, and we're gonna sift this flour and the cocoa together, okay? All right, here's my sifter. This is what I'm gonna use to sift it. All right, we are gonna use one teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna put the salt in there. Okay, my teaspoon, one teaspoon of salt. All right, I forgot to show y'all the vinegar. You're gonna need some white vinegar as well, but now I'm about to sift the flour, cocoa, and the salt. I'm about to sift it. I have a bigger sifter, but I can't find it right now. So, I'm gonna use this one. All right, so we're gonna pour it in here. Whoa, all right. See how it's sifting it together? You're doing this so you can get the um, chunks out of it. I have a little one-year-old, and he is having a ball. I might have to sift this again because I see some of the lumps are still in there. All right, I need to add my teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon. Okay, my baking powder is in there. Now I'm going to put my baking soda in there. Okay. That's a teaspoon. Well, that was a teaspoon before I shook it. <laughs> All right, now I'm about to sift it again. Let's 
Some people don't sift it and that's fine, but I like to sift it just to make sure it's evenly distributed throughout all of the mix. So you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you're gonna say you did Queen L's recipe, please do it how, how I'm doing it. <laughs> All righty. Sift, sift, sift. All right, we are almost ready for the next step. Okay, let me pour the rest of this in there. And let it get that little bit. All right, it's sifted. Okay, as far as this go, you don't have to have a sifter like I had. It doesn't matter if you don't have one of these. You, you can use a whisk. You just want to evenly distribute, you know, all of the salt and the cocoa powder and the baking powder together. So you can use a whisk if you have a whisk, okay? All right, now we're gonna put two cups of, um, one cup of butter. So that'll be two sticks. We're gonna use two sticks of butter. Butter and margarine. So use two sticks of that. I can open it. Okay, and it's at room temperature, and that's that's what you want. You don't want it to be freezing cold. You want um, the butter to be at room temperature. You want your buttermilk to be, you know, at room temperature. Okay. All right, I got two sticks of butter, which is a cup, and I got two cups of sugar. So I'm going to pour it in here together, and I'm going to use my hand mixer and mix it up. Okay. Sugar down. All right. Okay, I'm going to add three eggs. Three large eggs. Okay. the three large eggs. Now I'm about to blend it some more. Turn it down to low. It was supposed to be on low. That thing was on full speed. So I do it on low. Okay, in another bowl, I know y'all like, look at all them bowls, but yeah, in another bowl, you're gonna put your cup, one cup, I don't know if you can see, one cup of buttermilk in that bowl. All right, got your buttermilk in the bowl. We're gonna put the food coloring in there. We're gonna do three tablespoons of food coloring. So that's one. Two. Three. So that's three. Now we're going to get our vinegar and vanilla. Wait a minute. 
Okay, I'm going to use two teaspoons of vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. One. Two. Okay, now I'm going to put my vinegar in there. Okay, I'm going to do two teaspoons of white vinegar. One. So two teaspoons yeah. of vanilla, two teaspoons of white vinegar. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stir up my buttermilk. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. All right, I got my mixture ready. All right, now we on to the next step. All right, now I'm going to pour some of this in here first. Not all of it, just some of it. Because we're going to kind of, you know, stir it in slowly. I'm going to put this to the side. Okay, we're going to add our butter, sugar. Our butter and sugar together. Put it in here. Scrape it all out. Put it in here. Mama. Yes, baby. Mm. You're going to be ready to eat something in just a little bit. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead on and mix this with the mixer. Scrape around the bowl, y'all. Yeah. Scraping around the bowl. All right, and now I'm gonna get the remaining. I'm gonna put the remaining portion in there. The thing about this food coloring, it will get on your hand and it will be very hard to get out. I'll just be honest with you about that. That's the only down part with the red velvet food coloring. Okay. Now we're just mixing it up. I ain't got but a little bit of the red food coloring left, so I'm just gonna pour the remaining in there. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right. So I use one ounce of red food coloring. One ounce. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it a little bit more. With the blender. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna... Okay, now I'm just stirring up the rest of whatever on the side. I'm stirring it up and I'm getting ready to put it in my pans. Now, I only can find two of my cake pans. So, I'm going to put it in two cake pans and the rest that's left, I'm going to make cupcakes. Alright. So, it's ready. Okay. Okay. Put some in this cake pan. I mean, it's a little heavy, y'all. It's a little heavy than I thought. Wait, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Got to use my strong arm. All right. All right. Now, let me 
gonna put some in this cake pan. Usually people make three layers with this. Like I said, I'm just gonna make two layers and a couple cupcakes. Next, I'm gonna put this to the side. Yeah, excuse my fingers, that food coloring got on my hand. And it's gonna take some scrubbing for me to get it off. Scrubbing, scrubbing. Okay. Right, now I'm gonna shake it. This right here helps to get distributed even throughout the pot in a pan. I'm going to move this out the way. I'm going to shake this one as well. You can do this. Alright, that's pretty even. That's pretty even. Now we're going to put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Oh. Okay, we're going to have it in there for 25 minutes. And we're going to check it with a toothpick. Okay. I'm trying to make a couple cupcakes with what I have left. having a ball y'all my kids are having a ball some people spray the cupcake liners some people don't it ain't no right or wrong with that if you want to spray it spray it if you don't don't <laughs> Okay. Like I said, these are just going to be some little cupcakes for the kids since I had some left. Alright, I'm going to scrape the rest of it out and it'll be six cupcakes. Okay guys, we're going to check on the cakes. Okay, let's pull them out. I'm gonna stick a toothpick in them to see if they're done. If the toothpick comes out clean, that means it's done. It's done, let's stick it in this side. All right, the toothpick is fairly, fairly clean. They are done. All right, I'm about to put my cupcakes in there. around like 12 minutes then I check on them. Yeah, Tweezy just made some cauliflower wings. Here they go. He put them in the air fryer. I'm going to try one, y'all, because I'm nosy. Let me see how it tastes. That's good. Let us get back to the cake. Yeah, but them, them, them cauliflower wings are good. Let me get back to the cake. Okay, I'm gonna put the cakes on the cooling rack. Now, let's see. See? Y'all, I told y'all, the, the food color is stuck on my hand. So let's see how easy it came out. Look at how easy it came out. Mm. Woo! Let me get my other one out. Yeah, it's hot now. All right, I'm gonna leave these on the cooling rack for a little while and make sure I check on my cupcakes and I'll get back to you. Okay, now we're about to make the frosting. I got one stick of butter. I got two packages of Philadelphia cream cheese. All right, I'm gonna put the butter in here. I'm gonna put the cream cheese and then we're gonna use two and a half cups of 
powder sugar. Probably everything. We see outside AJ to my book. Alright, this one package. And do the other package. All right, here's the second package. You may have cream cheese left. I just want to make sure I got enough for the cupcakes. Okay. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna get my sugar. Two and a half cups. All right, you got your stick of butter, your two packages of cream cheese, and your two and a half cups of powdered sugar. Okay, now we're gonna mix this together. The butter is supposed to be at room temperature when you put it in there. Y'all, I forgot and I had it in the refrigerator. But with it being in room temperature, it makes it a lot easier to stir up, okay? So, instead of being able to just stir this to cream it out, I'm going to have to use my hand mixer, my electric hand mixer. So. Alright, I'm going to turn it down to low. Trying to get the rest of this sugar in here. Okay, I tasted it, and it's good, but I'm going to add another half cup of sugar. Half cup. It looks like a lot when it's powdered sugar because it's so fluffy, but this is a half a cup. So this is a total of three cups of powdered sugar, okay? All right, so this three cups. Okay, I'm going I'm to mix it up, but like I said, at two and a half, it's good, but... So the flavor and taste I want will be three cups, okay? But taste it at two and a half. If you make this at two and a half cups, taste it. And if it's the taste you want, then leave it right there. But if you want it a little bit more sweeter, do like I just did, add another half cup of sugar, powdered sugar. Just gonna get the sugar around the sides. Get the sugar around the sides. And we'll do a taste test from there. Okay, now it's time to ice the cake. Cakes? I know that y'all are like, okay, it's a little more brown right there. Yeah, y'all. 
it would have been perfect, perfect if AJ hadn't have pushed the glass off the counter and busted it. So me and Tweezy had to um, make sure we got every bit of that glass up. He didn't get hurt or anything. He just got up on the counter because he can climb really good. <laughs> and he bust the glass. So we had to clean it up. And that, uh, you know, took my mind off the cake. So, yeah. Other than that, I think it's still going to be good. You're just going to have the crispy edges. Y'all, Leah don't like nuts that much, so I'm going to put nuts on half the cake and the other half no nuts. So yeah, now we're just icing the cake. And whatever I have left, I save it. Trust me, I find something to do with it. Okay, I'm gonna put the other layer on top. Okay, the little white specks, that's just powdered sugar. I had to take the cupcakes out. Yeah, I know it ain't no joke. If you got kids, nieces, nephews, cousins, this little, they be around you a lot and you trying to do something, y'all know they'll take your mind off of it real quick. <laughs> Let's take your mind off of it real quick. It don't take much. That's kids for you. That's what they do. That's what they do. But they excited about the cake, and I'm excited to give them some. See, I needed some some of the cream cheese for the individual cupcakes. But if you're just doing a regular cake, instead of the cupcakes too, one eight ounce package should do it. You have enough, you have just enough. But I needed extra cream cheese, okay? All right, like I told y'all, Leah don't like the nuts. So I'm just gonna put them on my side. That right there be hers. <laughs> <laughs> Should be two big pieces. Two big pieces. Mm -hmm. We already know who ready to eat this up. <laughs> we already know who about to knock this to this. What I'm trying to do is stick them on there now, so. That's what I'm trying to do, stick the walnuts on there. Okay, guys, this is the finished product of my red velvet cake. I have nuts all on this side. As you can see, I got nuts on it. But I saved a portion for Leah without the nuts because she don't like nuts. So, yeah. 
I was gonna do half, but she don't like cake I as like yeah. as much to eat half. But I know myself, and I know I do like nuts on my cake. That's amazing. Thank you so much. But yeah, y'all, having a red velvet cake. I'm gonna go ahead on and frost the cupcakes. But like I was telling y'all, um, I only use one eight ounce package of the cream cheese because you know I had plenty left. I had plenty of cream cheese left, but I'm gonna use it for my cupcakes. But an eight ounce package would be enough for your three layer cake. It will be enough. All right, but let me cut it. Okay, I'm gonna cut a piece. That thing was so moist. Mm, mm, mm. It is. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, mm. Good. Yes, yes, yes. 